Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. There is a large looming question in the Catholic Church these days and it's prompted by a deeply serious problem. First the problem. The faith is not being transmitted in any meaningful large-scale way because all the usual institutional methods have essentially evaporated or are in a state of near total collapse. The historical means for transmitting the faith have been the family, Catholic education, and the parish. All three of those institutions are in major retreat. The Catholic family has been an institution battered relentlessly since the 1960s. Divorce, absent fathers, contraception, uncatechized parents, unable and unequipped to transmit the basics of the faith to their own children. Well, at least some kids go to Catholic schools, you say. Well, Catholic schools have been decimated since the 1960s. Back then, over 5 million students sat in Catholic classrooms in grades K through 12. Today, it's barely 2 million. Back then, nearly every teacher was a dedicated member of a religious order. Today, only, get this, 3%, 3% of teachers belong to religious orders. And more to the point, an unofficial survey of common sense shows that what Catholic schools and Catholic faculty do remain have done a horrible job, for the most part, of passing on the faith. Less than 10% of Catholic school graduates attend Mass on Sundays. And we've attached a link if you want to see these numbers for yourself. It's right over here. As for the third historical institutional transmitter of the faith, the local parish, it could best and most charitably be described as a grab bag or a pure shot in the dark, what you're going to hear from the pulpit on any given Sunday or what you're not going to hear. And again, while not official, an appeal to common sense and intuition does reveal the truth. Parishes are closing around the country like trees going up in a forest fire. Aging populations, zero vocations, and practically no one under 40 in the pews are all indicators of a demographic disaster just a few years away. Here's a little test for you for the next time you're at Mass. Take a look around the congregation and add in your mind 10 years to everyone's age. Then imagine how many of, you, how many of them you think will still be alive 10 years later. This is why parishes are closing. The old now are the bulk of most parishes, and when they die, there is no one or not enough to replace them. Why? Because the faith has not been transmitted to the next generation in any meaningful, large-scale manner at all. Those in charge have simply failed, miserably and spectacularly, at their jobs. If we were talking about sports, this would be called a blowout. It's for reasons like this that the Holy Father has said, the church may have to get smaller. The church already is smaller, at least in the West. It's in a state of contraction with no end in sight. And all the normal means for increase, the family, the classroom, and the pulpit, are in a state of disarray. There are a number of bright spots like homeschooling, solid parishes, internet ministries, and other such efforts, but these need to become much more aggressive and supported and don't forget, much of the institutional church, meaning the bureaucrats that, the, that Pope Benedict calls professional Catholics, this crowd is clinging to the old way of doing business because their jobs depend on it. They will fight tooth and nail with any means at their disposal to ensure that unconventional or unapproved methods of teaching and advancing the faith of, or evangelizing are killed off or marginalized. Simply put, they have a dog in the fight. So, the bureaucrats scoff at and block and denigrate the Latin mass crowd. They make jokes about those backward homeschoolers. They issue decrees and communication statements about faithful Catholics in the new media. They want the power and the control, but what, th what their desire for power bind blinds them to is two things. One, it isn't their church. It belongs to Jesus Christ. And two, their power grab is over a quickly evaporating congregation. Talk about rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. This is why they are always having to come up with clever marketing schemes to raise tens of millions of dollars. Because owing to their past practices, there are now less and less people sitting in the pews. So the few that there are still there need to be convinced to give even more. 
That's a trickle-up version of economics that will go bankrupt in short order, financially and spiritually. We're already seeing that now. So without formal support in any meaningful official manner, these little startup efforts all around the country, and in fact all around the world, in general, are the only real bastions of the faith left. New religious communities, small but growing. Homeschool parents and families, small but growing. Solid parishes embracing liturgical reform, small but growing. Internet media pushing solid doctrine with a ferocious dedication to the faith, small and growing. These are growing while the old methods are shrinking and dying. This is how the faith is going to be transmitted. The faith has been relegated to the cultural ghetto, in a certain sense, a return to the days of the catacombs. And if that is our lot in this early 21st century of the faith, then let's accept it and start to rebuild what has been left to rot on the vine. This is our mission as Catholics, to be personally holy, to live the faith, and to spread the faith. Brush off whatever incoming rounds come our way and walk towards Christ in the circumstances in which he has called us to walk, using whatever means we may have to preach him and his holy Catholic Church. The gates of hell will not prevail. God bless you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.